Are you tired of your fire stick acting slower than a snail on a lazy Sunday? Do you get that dreaded, critically low on storage space message and feel a cold sweat running down your back? Images won't load and when you try to download a new app, your fire stick just freezes. It gets stuck on queued or refusing to install. It's like it's having a digital tantrum. But what if I told you there's a secret weapon to fight this digital clutter? A superhero in the form of an app that will get your fire stick running like new again. Today, we're diving into the world of the Explore File Manager app, and I'm going to show you how to use it to unleash the inner minimalist of your fire stick. Now, trust me, your device and your sanity will thank you. Let's face it, your Fire Stick is a bit of a pack rat. It keeps old files, leftover folders from uninstalled apps, and random junk you just don't even know is there. Think of it like that dreaded junk drawer, the tangled mess of USB cables and power cords for long dead phones. We all have that drawer. You're holding on to a power adapter from a flip phone from 2005, just in case, what, you travel back in time? The Explore app is like a lightning fast untangler for your digital life. It helps you see everything and decide which wires to finally toss in the e-waste bin. Before we get started with our digital deep clean, let's take a look under the hood and get a baseline. Go to settings, my fire TV, then about, and finally storage. Now, as you can see, my Fire TV Stick 4K Max second generation, I've only got 168 megabytes left. That's like hiking up a mountain while wearing a backpack full of bricks. No wonder my device is acting up. Your Fire Stick needs at least 500 megabytes of digital elbow room to breathe for things like temporary files, cache, system updates, and other background tasks. Anything less and you're asking for trouble. So we're going to empty that backpack and give this device the space it needs. So first things first, you'll need to install the Explore File Manager app. You can find it on the Amazon App Store. Once you have it, open it up. If you have a newer device, it might automatically direct you to your settings to grant the app file access. It will say denied, so just click it and choose all files. After that, press the back button a few times to get back into the app. Now, this app might look a little intimidating at first with all the folders and technical jargon, but don't worry, I'm your tour guide and we're going to navigate this digital jungle together. The location we want to look at is internal shared storage. Now, you'll see it on the left hand side. Tap onto it to open it up. And this is where all the junk is hiding. The key is to look for the folders that hold the most trash. Now for me, the top culprits are always the downloader folder and leftover directories from apps I've long since deleted. Remember those files from the downloader app that you forgot to delete after sideloading something? Well, they're probably in here. Tap on a folder to expand it and take a look inside. You'll probably see a lot of stuff you don't need. Once you find a file or folder you want to delete, it's super simple. Just long press the select button on your remote until a pop-up menu appears. From there, select delete, confirm it, and just like that, it's gone forever.
Continue repeating this process to delete any files or folders in your internal shared storage that you no longer want or need. Now, a quick word of reassurance, you can't accidentally delete anything critical here. Fire sticks and fire TVs are locked down, so if you try and delete something important, you'll simply see a message that says some files could not be deleted. However, I do recommend using caution and staying away from the root folder. Leave that one alone just in case. Stick to the internal shared storage location, deleting obvious junk folders, and you'll be a digital cleanup pro in no time. Now for the moment of truth. Let's go back and check our storage space. Remember, we can find out storage in settings, my Fire TV, then about, and finally storage. Now from just 168 megabytes of available space, we have jumped all the way up to a whopping 6.53 gigabytes. That's a massive improvement. We just freed up a huge chunk of storage and now you and your Fire Stick can breathe a sigh of relief. If after you've cleared a lot of files, you notice some temporary glitches like app icons not showing up correctly, there's a simple fix. Just open up any app. This gives the system a kick to remind it to refresh everything and all your app icons should go back to normal. If not, unplug your Fire Stick for 30 seconds and plug it back in for a complete power cycle. See, it wasn't even that hard. You just freed up some valuable real estate on your Fire Stick, making room for new apps, new shows, and a smoother streaming experience. Now, go forth and conquer that digital clutter. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tips that will make your life easier. And let me know in the comments how much space you freed up. Think of it like that dreaded drunk, dr drunk? We all have that drawer. You're holding on to a power adapter for a flip phone from 20...